Tonight, teachers and community members are showing support for Katie ISD's embattled superintendent. Dr. Lance Hint has been in the headlines recently, receiving negative attention after a former classmate accused him of bullying and shoving his face in a urinal almost 40 years ago. Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil attended that rally and joins us live from Katie tonight. Sophia? Well, Dominique, teachers who were here today and helped organize this rally say they wanted their voices heard and they wanted to let the superintendent know that they have his back. In a show of solidarity. We thought, you know, now it's time for us to rally around our, our superintendent and show him how much we support him, how much we appreciate him, and how much we love him. Around 100 teachers, staff, and community members in KDISD stood side by side and prayed for Superintendent Dr. Lance Hint. We want to show our students that our past mistakes don't define who we are. It's unfortunate, you know, I, I'm sorry for the community that we've had to go through this. But I, I also believe that through controversy comes togetherness. During last month's board meeting, a man named Greg Gay accused Hint of bullying back in 1978, saying the now superintendent shoved his face in a urinal when they were in junior high, an allegation that has caused some negativity. During public comment at Monday's meeting, people erupted in applause when speakers praised Hint, but not everyone was there in support of him. A handful didn't speak directly about the superintendent, but spoke on the bigger picture of bullying, which is what Greg Gay says he's wanted from the beginning. That's why I came forward, so that other kids don't have to suffer this problem that, that I did. Greg says he prays for the superintendent and didn't want to attack him, but shed light on a dark subject. I do not want this man to lose his job. I, he is the perfect person to fix it. As for the alleged beef from four decades ago, the superintendent says he wants to meet with Greg. I hope at some point that we can sit down and, and not in a very big public forum in which we can have a candid conversation. This will be great. That's the first I've heard of it. And Superintendent Hint did send out a letter to the district about two weeks ago, and he denied the allegations, but again today, it's say, said today, rather, that he does want to meet with Greg and have a private conversation. Reporting live from Katie, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sophia.